Hello, so today I just want to do a quick video and I think it's a really important one. Personally, I think it's probably one of the most important I've done so far. It's about rule H2 in the highway code, which is about where we give way to pedestrians that are waiting to cross uh, roads, okay? Now there's a lot of confusion at the moment out there and I'm starting to see more and more people that are doing things like stopping when they're exiting a roundabout to allow pedestrians that are waiting to cross to cross the road and it seems to be enhanced by a lot of driving instructors and very often we're the guilty parties in in things that are going on in particular lately there's there's been two really really high profile um driving instructors on youtube that i've actually noticed are saying that h2 applies at roundabouts and therefore we should consider whether we stop for pedestrians that are waiting to cross and they're not they're not saying that like literally you exit and there's three lanes oh you've got to stop they are saying you've got to weigh things up and make your decision as to whether it's safe but you're very rarely going to get an occasion when on a roundabout it's safe to do this and and it actually doesn't apply at roundabouts so what i'm going to do is of course use the highway code to show you exactly where h2 applies i'm not going to be talking through set scenarios today i will do a separate video on h2 and how to use it safely um, the first bit is in rule h2 in the highway code the bit that is confusing a lot of driving instructors unfortunately is at a junction you should give way to pedestrians crossing or waiting to cross a road into which or from you are turning okay now it's at a junction that is the bit that is confusing driving instructors if you look at the definition of a junction, it's basically just a coming together of different roads. And of course, therefore, that includes roundabouts. It includes traffic lights. Um, and so some driving instructors, because they say, well, roundabouts are a junction, they're teaching their pupils that they should be considering stopping, approaching and exit, ex exiting roundabouts if there's these pedestrians waiting to cross. So what I'm gonna just quickly do is show you where in the highway code you need to actually get the real information and how you should be doing this. So first of all, rule 170, this talks about road junctions. So the highway code essentially doesn't define a roundabout as a junction, it breaks down further these, these, uh, these different types of junctions. 170 is road junctions. This is your T junctions, your Y junctions, your crossroads, etc. And this is where it talks very clearly about stopping and waiting for pedestrians that are waiting to cross the road. Okay, and remember that's a should. So you should stop and allow pedestrians to cross. Sometimes they won't want to cross. Um, and sometimes it won't be actually safe to stop because of maybe the traffic flow or what the pedestrian's doing. If they're in the road, it's a must, you must stop. So that is then the law, of course. Um, so we'll be doing a separate video on that to clarify more um, in terms of like when it is safe to do. But at the moment, I just wanna make sure that I'm getting out the message of when we definitely should not be doing this, okay? So rule 72, I think it's 183, covers road junctions, okay? And then rules 184 onwards now separately to road junctions is roundabouts. So that is the key. That's the first key, rule H2 at a junction. 184 roundabouts now is classed separately to road junctions. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with all the rules, but if you read through all the roundabout rules, there is absolutely zero mention about stopping and waiting for pedestrians that are waiting to cross. You simply really shouldn't be doing it. This is the wording that's key, okay? Remember this highway code, whether it's a should, whether it's a must, this is the book that will be brought out in a court of law if you do something dangerous out there or contribute to something dangerous where people get hurt and you're in court the solicitors will be breaking this down not oh my driving instructor told me that i need to stop for people as i exit a roundabout wouldn't stand up in the court of law i'm afraid so rule 187 in all cases watch out for and give plenty of room to pedestrians who may be crossing the approach and exit roads. That is massively different to waiting to cross, okay? In all cases, watch out for and give plenty of room to. So if I'm exiting a roundabout that's two or three lanes, 
and there are pedestrians crossing, I, I don't even need to stop. I, the idea is that we keep the roundabout flowing. I would slow, of course, I'm gonna gear down and all that good stuff. But as soon as I've given them plenty of room, I now continue and that keeps the roundabout flowing. So I'm seeing more and more videos of people stopping as they're exiting a roundabout, traffic behind, caught unawares, um, because they're stopping to allow people to cross the road. It, rule H2, don't use it at roundabouts. You won't find safe opportunities. And, and with what I've just shown you, you shouldn't be doing it anyway. Traffic lights are separate, okay? They're a different rule in the highway code. Mini roundabouts, etc. So you're literally just talking your T-junctions, Y-junctions, crossroads. It's the only times you should be actually considering, should I stop and allow this pedestrian to cross? So what I'm gonna do quickly now is, is just show you some dash cam footage um, to sum up. And it was from a lad uh, called Aaron. We did a lesson very recently on, on the Rule H2. I taught him exactly that, so he understood it. And he then went and demonstrated whether he should be using H2 and stopping for pedestrians, let them uh, cross the road, or whether he actually should be watching out for them and should be really maintaining the, the kind of the flow of the road. I will also show you a dash cam example just from today of me, um, on a roundabout it, it couldn't have been better timed um so i'll get that off the dash cam and put this on the end of the video as well okay and hopefully this clears it up but i have a, only got a really small following on youtube at the moment so if, if there's anyone that would be happy to share this video like it obviously feel free to subscribe etc but try and get this message out there because for me that as i said there's some very high profile driving instructors on youtube that are, are teaching people that they need to consider a different way okay now, this is the, the test for you. We're gonna turn left at the roundabout. Now, approaching a roundabout, should we stop for pedestrians that are waiting to cross? We should. Should we? No, sorry, that's Brilliant. junctions. Happy with that. Junctions, well should, it's, um, we should be aware of them at Good. a roundabout. Happy with that, well done, mate. Left at the roundabout, please, buddy. Nice one, mate. Let's have a little look there, lovely. Well done, mate. Happy that would be the difference, wouldn't it? If someone was stood waiting to cross there. Ah, lovely. Like that, give them plenty Excellent. of room. Ah, be aware well there, done, there. mate. There you go. Exit of that a was, That was perfect. Oh, I love it. Nice one, mate. Well done. And if she'd been waiting to cross, happy you wouldn't have to stop for her and let her cross. But now you come into a junction again. So if there's someone waiting to cross, we need to be ready. Okay. Left at the end of the road, please, Aaron, if you would. Now this, even though it looks it, is a first gear junction, mate. Okay, so first gear, more brake clutch stays down. Let's see if you can find Ah, what about her? No, she's, she's not crossing? Good. Now into the curb when you emerge, eh? Nice, mate, good choice. Excellent, love that. This is approaching the Tesco mini roundabout in Dis. It is a one lane mini roundabout, but as approaching, any pedestrians that are waiting to cross, there's nothing compelling you to stop if you decide to let them cross. That is your decision. As I exit, there should be nothing in my mind that says I should stop for pedestrians that are waiting to cross. In this case, it's a very busy mini roundabout. And of course, it's my priority. So I don't stop for these people. And there's, there should be nothing in us that is saying to stop and allow them to cross. Approaching this one, this is now on a dual carriageway. It flares into three lanes as we approach. So again, pedestrians waiting to cross, we definitely would not stop as a roundabout. But also if they are crossing, we only need to give them plenty of room. So in this case, as we exit, if there was a pedestrian that had started to cross from this side of the road, I still do not need to stop according to the highway code. All I need to do is give them plenty of room. So I would wait until they're at this point here and I would have slowed the car, but ideally not stop and then continue straight on. Okay, so that is the difference make sure h2 only apply at side roads t junctions crossroads and y junctions do not apply at roundabouts you're going to get into uh, into problems like subscribe share hope you've enjoyed it please do get this message out i think it's quite important